Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering question number five, part two, from the June 2023 International A Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P4 paper. And this question is about integration by substitution. Five part one was about integration by parts, which I saved on a separate video, which you'll find in the playlist at the end of this video over here. So here we have a question all about integration by substitution. Okay, and they've told us what substitution to use to integrate this expression here and show that it becomes something that looks like this. And we have AX plus B multiplying this bracket here and plus K. We're going to find the values of A and B and K is just the arbitrary constant of integration. So that will be left as K. Now, in this question here, um, substitution is done in do lots of different ways people do it. I like to prefer, I prefer to do it in this particular way because I can explain exactly what's happening, right? Not just say, do this and multiply by this and whatever. I can kind of explain exactly how everything works. So that's why I like to use this method. Now, the method I use is I'll take whatever is being integrated, which is this. And I'm going to call that Y first. So I'll say, let Y equal 27X over the square root of 1 minus 3x. And our objective is to integrate that y, or that function, with respect to x. That's our objective. But we have to introduce another variable. So we, what we're going to do is we're going to say, we've got to integrate y dx du du. y dx du du. So you just keep it as it is, but then put d over du times du. Why? Because y dx du du is effectively the same as dx but what we have to do is have to express everything in terms of u because we now got to integrate everything in terms of u okay so y and dx du both have to be expressed in terms of u so we know that y is equal to 27 x over the square root of 1 minus 3x now the square root of 1 minus 3x this is going to be u so that part we know that part is going to be u what's this part going to be well, we can rearrange this equation. We can say, okay, u is equal to the square root of 1 minus 3x. I want to know what x is in terms of u. I have to replace the x in terms of u. So I'll square both sides of this. That'll give me 1 minus 3x on this side and u squared on that side. Okay, so I want to find what x is. So I'm going to swap these. So x equals 1 minus u squared. Okay, now what we want to have is 27x. Okay, so we can actually say, all right, that means 9 times 3x is going to give me 27 times 1 minus u squared. 27 times 1 minus u squared. Um, not 27, 9 times. What am I talking about? Sorry. You multiply this side by 9, you multiply that side by 9, so you're going to have 27x is the same as 9 times 1 minus u squared. So now what I can do is I can say that this is equal to y can be replaced with, I've got... 27x is the same as 9 times 1 minus u squared over the square root of 1 minus 3x, which is u, times, now I've got to find what dx du is. Okay, now what I'm going to do to find dx du, I think it'll be a lot easier. I could find du dx and then try to find what dx du is in terms of u. I think that's going to be a big hassle. I think the easiest way to do is to take this and find what dx du is. You can say x is equal to one third, write them as separate terms, as we have to differentiate them to find dx du. So dx du is going to be equal to, that's going to become zero, and that's going to be minus two thirds of u. Okay, so that'll be times minus two thirds of u. Okay, and then du. So this is the dx du part, this is the y, and this is the du. There's no limits to change here. Otherwise, we would change the limits from x to u as well um, using this. Well, there's no limits here, so there's no problem. So now everything you can see is in terms of u here. So things are looking a bit easier to deal with. So we can cancel out, for example, this u will cancel with this u. This 3 will cancel with this 9, leaving you with 3 here. So you've got 3 times the minus 2. We'll write that outside, minus 6 times. And here you're going to have, inside here, um, 1 minus u squared. We have to integrate it. Minus u squared. I think everything has gone. Du. 
and we have to integrate this now. Okay, we could if you want put the minus sign back in here and leave this as u squared minus 1. It's probably better. Okay, just multiply the minus 1 in here. That's better. And then we can say, okay, that's going to be u cubed over 3 minus u. And all of that is multiplied by 6. That's going to give you 2u cubed minus 6u. Okay, and we can say plus c or plus k if they want to have keep it as k. Okay, so we're almost there now. Okay, so now what we've got to do is got to replace everything now so it's in terms of x. Now I know that u is equal to 1 minus 3x uh, square rooted. So u is equal to the square root of 1 minus 3x, which we can write in index form as 1 minus 3x to the power of a half. So we can say that 6, well, we got it here, sorry. We can say over here, so we can say now that this is equal to 2 times 1 minus 3x to the power of a half. And that's raised to the power of 3, minus 6 times 1 minus 3x to the power of a half plus k. So we're going to simplify this. That's 2 times 1 minus 3x to the power of, you multiply the powers, that's 3 over 2, minus 6 times 1 minus 3x to the power of a half plus k. Now that's our answer, except we want to have our answer written in a way that we have. Um, What's the word? Yeah, factorized form. This is factorized. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take out the highest common factor, which is 2. And then, what else is common? It's this bracket that's common. Now, the highest common factor is always, in terms of powers, the one with the lower power. So it's 1 minus 3x to the power of a half. Okay, and then I'm going to open a bracket. Open a bracket. So, okay, so I know that this term multiplied by that term, so this term multiplied by what's here gives me that term. The 2 is it already, but the 1 minus 3x to the power of a half, you have to add 1 to the power. So how do you add 1 to the power when you multiply it by the thing to the power of 1? The same thing to the power of 1. If I multiply these two brackets together, I'm going to have to add 1 to the power, so that's going to give me 3 over 2. So this is 2 times 1 minus 3x to the power of 3 over 2, and for this term you're going to have minus... Now 2 times 3 is 6, and then you're going to have, that's it, because y, that is already 1 minus 3x to the power of a half. So if I multiply these together, I'm going to get minus 6 times this bracket. All right, so we've finished factorizing this. Don't forget the plus k at the end. So now we can simplify what's in here. So we have 2 times 1 minus 3x to the power of a half, and inside this bracket, you're going to have 1 minus 3x minus 3, which is going to be minus 3x um, minus 2 plus k. Now what we want to do here, because we want the answer to look like this, all right, we want to take out, we have one of minus 2 outside, we've got 2 outside, we can take out minus 1 from this bracket. So you'll have minus 2, 1 minus 3x to the power of a half, times 3x plus 2 plus k. And there's the answer, which is in the correct form, you have 1 minus 3x to the power of a half, minus 2 out there, ax plus b, so our a is 3 and our b is 2. And we don't have to write that down, but that's fine. So there is the answer to this question using integration by substitution. Okay, so setting up in this way will really make life very, very easy for you. Always set up like this. Okay, you want to integrate something with respect to x, we have to introduce another variable. You say y dx du du. Okay, y dx du du. If it was theta, y dx d theta d theta, so on. Okay, so there is the answer for five part two. Was there a part three? No, there wasn't. So that's the end of question number five. Okay, other questions from this particular paper you will find in the playlist that it will appear at the top over here. Other questions from integration of P4 you can find in this playlist and other questions dealing with integration by parts in this playlist over here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.